Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Warm of the Case Sanctus Reach and it is the next orc turn so depending on how good or bad it turns you know this is going to be a good or bad turn if there won't be reinforcements which I hope which I really hope then that should be a good turn for us I don't know whether they are going to be I even the last um, reinforcements I did not expect and you see there is already new stuff of course coming up you never know that and that's the fun fact about Sanctus Reach so at least those guys are down and I definitely 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 need to go okay that's the thing why at least in my opinion it is sometimes how many battle wagons are there actually to get your to get your stuff out of and they're coming from every side again don't they um to bring you know your stuff into firing position so there we have new reinforcements that of is of course never a good we have heavy losses down here but that's just it for now. Alright, they... That is what makes me so mad. Those bloody storm boys did 137 damage against a bloody tank there. That is something which really makes me angry at this game. Alright, then you do something crazy. You do something crazy, yes. Are you do something crazy? <laughs> I really need plenty of firepower down here ASAP. That is all what I can say there. And that won't do much against them, does it? So first of all, you are going to fire the big gun, which does amazing stuff sometimes. But not this time. 17 damage. Are you joking me? Because once it loses its shields, the knight is going to have trouble. So, some damage at least there. Alright, you then move out like so. You're being shot at. I know, I know, I know. But I don't care right now. So now the battle wagon shoot. I don't care. Whoa, one HP. See, that is what aggravates me sometimes. I'm complaining again. I should not complain. So the um, the thing is, what I am actually hoping for that there won't be a steady stream of reinforcements because I. I am holding up now quite well, as you see, but I don't know how long I can actually keep that up with all those reinforcements coming up as a steady, steady stream there, which is a little bit insane, I have to say. And then with less cannons dealing this less... Oh, come on! At least 6 HP he did. He is... A bloody tank hunter and he did nothing there so here I will actually you know I need definitely more knights down here so what can you shoot at shoot at actually can you shoot them I wouldn't like that so I can only shoot at them so only a dead orc is a good orc, but to say that thing. All right, here. Um, I think I can actually kill off the battle wagon there nearly by myself. So there we did just a hundred damage, nice, and eighty damage again. So you are rolling guns as well. 
move like so. Take your shots. They are quite amazing against battle wagons, so it might seem I am a okay with that. Okay, maybe you have to probably shoot. Are you kidding me? You have to shoot from the side there, I guess. All right, you uh, maybe are going a little bit late there on this side, but that is what we are just going to do. So you bring them around and then I will try to get here a little bit of help and fresh forces to support. Here I only have to deal with a couple of units, I guess. On this side I wanted to get out and kill a war buggy, but the war buggy is gone, so I can only focus on the pain boy here, which I will do, of course. And another shot would have been amazing. I don't have that. So here is technically two units, but I guess that is going to be changed as soon as the reinforcements arrive. So that is not going to be for too, too long, I guess. So at least you did a nice shot there. These battle wagons shouldn't survive the next turn. I hope that. I'm not certain whether that is going to work out. But as you can see, our forces um, are low on health and everything. And we don't have too, too many remaining. So let's see how long we can even survive the war of nutrition here. So you are then going to help out here as well. Come on, I need to bring some enemies down here in order to face those battle wagons there. Okay, he hasn't shot by now. I have overseen that, honestly. So, did you? You did shoot last turn. No, come on. You've. Sometimes this game is really a little bit annoying. So that is at least a kill. So the problem is if I don't kill them off, I'm probably... I completely did not get it. Oh, they of course now did 52 damage. Are you joking me? So he did like nothing. Um... I need to help him out. You're out of range, so I can't do much actually. Except for the sentinel, these guys can move up as well. But I need someone to kill those guys then, alright. You will stay there. And well, let us jump in the orc turn then. I hope that I don't lose too too much here. So shoot everything you've got into them. So that is going to be painful, isn't it? So down they are. So I can focus on battle wagons the next turn. They are going to do some damage, I guess, here. Oh yes, and... By the way, thank you that you decided not to kill off this little tank there. That is so nice of you. Not a war buggy. That one I wanted to kill um, before. Can deal quite a lot of damage. A hundred there. So one crit there, that at least is good. So they are going to focus on the knight completely, I can tell you that already now. Or not, that I don't understand actually. 
So fuck, shields are disabled. There is no good at all. And it may be, you know, even been a, oh, 100 damage there. Maybe it was a mistake to get out, but I think I need to get out here to kill them off. The bad part is what I see coming already is, oh, that there will be a steady amount, a steady stream of reinforcements there. And if that is the case, he, we can't hold them up for too, too long. That is the the main concern I'm having there. And I guess there are still always coming streams and streams and streams of enemies. That is not good at all for us. So you, uh, please end them. And can you think about that before I fire here? I will use the Basilisk actually. That was a nice shooting, thank you very much. The other Basilisk is going to do the same, I hope. At least do a little bit of damage there. And here all of our guys then move up and try to help out as much as much as much as they actually can all right so here tanks move up and because i think it the way around here is you know faster than the other way around so i still okay they are now down there i need to calculate them I need to calculate them in and actually kill them off as well. So the war buggies there, not war buggies, but the war bikes need to be dealt with at some point. Why can't I shoot them? Are you joking me, man? But from this position, I actually should. So one is down. That is nice. So you focus on the paintball down he is and on this side mm -hmm, they can't move here so you actually are just going to retreat in here because otherwise I will be killed off too too soon I guess all right I hope that those units here can Bring this flank under control. That is the hope I have. And shoot him in the back. So I'm actually right now relatively certain that if you shoot tanks in the back, you deal more damage. I am certain of that. I before was not too too certain about that, but right now I am quite certain of it. So sentinels are then you know, I'll try something out, what I said a second ago. I will try that out right now. Even though I know I will be f can be fired now by normal units. That's it. That was the kill. Nice. Shoot him in the back as well. And there you do your the damage I want you to deal. Nice. So, um, don't think we have a another sentinel already out there. And ah, yes, I know. Oh, in the back, not in the back. So I can then try to shoot here in the back. So that's of course convenient. That makes the game honestly a little bit easier for me. I did not expect that to be so. All right, you then shoot here. That battle wagon is down, and then you shoot at those guys. And now I understand it with that knight. He is the best against those units, of course, against infantry. So he nearly brought that thing down, didn't he? 
Nice. So you guys shoot first of all. Okay, can't hit them. That's too bad. And what a reactor fire. That is amazing, isn't it? So please. Those guys need to be killed, man. And then they soak up everything you put into them. So one lone guy there has survived the vanquisher. He's going to move here. Put a shot into this thing nice down. The artillery there is. Then the heavy water I know he has an upgrade. Ah, I should have sh sharp shooter. With so much time spent on the battlefield, these guardsmen have learned that the one who shoots first wins. You just get double reaction fire increased and uh, let's get the reaction fire there. We already had the sharpshooter thing available to us. So please bring those guys down. Okay, so you should have No, you already have fired everything you've got. So can we now? Not really, but what shall I say? This guy is down. Here I will move on like so. Oh, the shield is amazing. At least we did good damage concerning those bad guys there. So here, um, he won't be in time down there. That is not possible. So one shot there was not bad. He is not shooting bad, you see. Okay, war bikes down. That, of course, was um, not particularly a lifesaver, but it was so important for us that these shots hit the target correctly. All right. What do we have? The Sentinel here. This Sentinel. All right. He's going to do some, do some work as well. And firing into this guy and then there okay didn't hit what shall i say that guys brings us to the end of this episode and as usual i really thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this episode if you have anything to say tell me i am you know feedback always is a nice part for me as i said before i hope that that is not going on like that I hope that once these last forces here are down, the, this mission is over. So guys, that brings us to the end. I really thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.